and that is how I make a thumbnail for my YouTube videos. What's up guys, how's it going? Vlogging tip of the day is how do I create thumbnails for my YouTube videos? A thumbnail is that little image you see right before you click onto a video. So I'm gonna show you how I do this and give you some tips, but let's jump into my computer. All right, so here we are inside of my computer. So I'm going to use my last video as an example on how I make my thumbnail. So in my last video, I went for an adventure, I surfed a bit, so I'm gonna to try to include my face in the thumbnail as well as a little bit of action. So I remember that in this clip, I think I was smiling right about here. So I'm going to copy this image and then I'm going to, what I use to edit my thumbnails is Photoshop but you could really use any program that al allow you to maybe crop the image down to the right size. So file, new, and then the size for images for thumbnails, if you're going to be putting them as your YouTube thumbnail, is 1280 by 720. I used to not know that, and I would make put the wrong size, and then when I would save it, it would crop the image. But now I know that, so don't, definitely don't forget to do that. So I just paste my image. Now, as you can see, I think it looks pretty good just like that, but I'm going to add a little touch to it. So I'm going to go back into my folder. I'm going to go to my GoPro surfing footage. It was pretty sure it was this clip. Just find this a nice clip where you, maybe you can see my surfboard, like kind of coming up to maybe do a maneuver. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to copy this, head back over to Photoshop, paste, and then what I use to adjust the size is edit free transform, adjust it to how I think will look nice, and then just save it. Now if I was looking for this kind of effect, then I would leave it, but I'm going to erase these little bit of edges, so I'm going to use the eraser tool. Now the one thing that I've learned with thumbnails is to keep it simple, and if possible maybe include some emotion or maybe your face, if, you're sh if you showed your face in the video, because people if someone sees maybe someone having like a really good time in a video and they're like smiling or like they have like maybe like a surprised face look on their face it may make someone more likely to want to click on it so i try to never have images covering my face i don't want words going over my face that way there's a nice clean shot of that and i would say this looks all right the thing with thumbnails is it's easy to end up sitting there tweaking it over and over and over being like, oh no, it's not perfect, I need to tweak it a little bit more. But I try to keep it simple. If I add any words, just like one or two words, I definitely don't want to have like rows and rows and paragraphs of text because think about it, if you're on a mobile device, you're not going to be able to read like an entire sentence in a thumbnail. So this is probably going to be my thumbnail. The one last thing I do is go to adjust and I add a little bit of contrast just a little bit you see it kind of I think it makes it look a little bit better and then add a little bit of hue saturation all I add is the saturation maybe just a smidge you don't want to like overdo it because then it's really noticeable but just a little bit and I think this is a pretty good thumbnail because you see my face you see some trees you see my surfboard like me like me surfing and this is going to be my thumbnail for my video pretty simple Try to not get dragged away with adding all these little effects. I mean, if you're doing like a really, I guess, special video and you want to make a really good thumbnail, then sometimes I'll end up spending like an hour working on this, like tweaking it and tweaking it. But if I'm doing daily vlogs, I try to not like get distracted with spending too much time here. Last but not least is save for web. Computer's a little slow. Waiting, waiting. Now make sure you save it to a JPEG. Well, I mean, I don't, I'm not really sure what the other ones. GIF is if, you're, if you cut out an image or something. But JPEG, and then you could turn the quality down a little bit, but I just leave it at 100% just to have the best quality. And then just make sure this, the image size is 1280 by 720, and then just save. And that is how I make a thumbnail for my YouTube videos. It may seem complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually really easy. And just try to keep it not too complicated. Try to not clutter up the image. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's vlogging camera tip. 
And what's cool about making a thumbnail for your video is it also doubles as a social media post. So I post these pictures to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so it's a really win-win situation. Remember to keep always doing awesome stuff. Be sure to subscribe for tomorrow's vlogging tip and tomorrow's daily vlog. See you guys tomorrow, early in the morning. Bang! Be sure to check out some of my other recent videos right here. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to follow me on my Instagram for monthly giveaways, updates, and Instagram stories.